In this video, I'm going to try out the new GPT-5 model in ChatGPT. ChatGPT now has our smartest, fastest, most useful model yet with thinking built in. So you get the best answer every time. Yes, I'm on a free plan because I'm one of those people who can't afford the subscription. But the good thing is that ChatGPT actually allows you to use their latest and greatest model for free, even if it's for limited time. So I haven't tested this yet. So what I'm going to do is actually do one real thing that I actually do. <laughs> okay, so this is a script of my previous video, how to use phone as a PC. And I want this script to become a blog post. Let me actually show you guys how this looks. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just a script of my video. I can't just post this as, as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask this to turn this into a actual blog post that is actually readable. <laughs> OK, and this is going to be my prompt. OK, so let's go. Let's see. Wow, it's pretty fast, actually. So it's using my script to write this. So let's see how it did. OK, so did you know that you can turn your PC into desktop PC? This feature is now built in into Android uh, starting from Android 15. Yeah, it is exactly like it is on the script. <laughs> OK, so this is the script and it looks like it did pretty well. And all the important points that I pointed on my video is there. And there are two ways to do this using a software and uh, you can just directly connect your phone to a external monitor. OK, using a software SCRC PY. Uh, there is even a download link. Very good. OK, and there are instructions on how to turn on the USB debugging. OK, looks clean <laughs> i'm not gonna lie second method just connect your phone to a external monitor okay usb c to hdmi cable or adapter wow impressive and yes i have tested this similar thing with other ais only one ai actually the gemini gemini seems to write weird stuffs sometimes the posts doesn't actually match with the script that well either it will try to add its own things and ignoring my script completely but this gpt5 is actually listening to my commands perfectly and this is a perfect blog post based on my script file this blog post is actually usable okay i don't even have to modify anything this thing actually understood its job perfectly. Yeah, this is actually great. I have a theme of my blog. Uh, it's a .xml file. I don't know if it can modify this or not. So, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, hope it can. Because I have tried this with uh, other AIs, including the previous version of GPT model. It didn't work. So, let's modify our website's theme using the gpt5 hope it works first i'm gonna ask the question whether it can do it or not i can modify this blogger theme for you yes i can help you adjust its colors fonts layout even add remove features like sticky headers dark mode or custom widgets that's that's pretty cool actually so what i'm gonna do is actually make the posts wider this will make posts about 40 percent wider on desktops. I can add it to your XML theme so these uh, changes are applied and the layout stays responsive. Do you want me to? Oh yeah, why not? Sure, do it for me. <laughs> okay, now we have the theme. I'm gonna download it. So I have this blogger site here with one post, the post that we just created. And I'm gonna actually paste this theme that we just modified it using the GPT-5. Okay, so let's apply it. Hope I don't get any error. I think it's gonna work. I didn't get any error. Okay, it's updated. Now let's view the blog. Now I'm gonna have to compare this. So here is my real website. So this is the width. Okay, it's tiny. You can see here, the width is tiny. Okay. Now look at this one. This one is bigger, lot bigger. Look at that. <laughs> it actually worked. 
okay so you can see it's a lot bigger in on desktop so that what it says here again here is a comparison this is my uh, original blog post and this is the updated thing and you can see it's actually wider yeah it's actually wider you know i actually use a couple of ais only the most popular ones like the microsoft copilot this chat gpt and gemini and i have always found that chat gpt is more direct most of the time it gives you the shorter simpler and direct answers compared to gemini or even microsoft copilot and again i'm using the free version because for real can't afford the <laughs> subscription you can see you can get the access to the gpt5 okay it's uh, for a limited time okay there is a limitation how many times you can chat with the gpt model and after that it will automatically switch to the older gpt models or maybe uh, you know they are getting rid of the older gpt models and just making the gpt5 slower once you hit the limit or something i don't know that much but the thing is even on free plan chat gpt is now better thanks to gpt5 that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye